Very often in practice, a healthcare provider will use language that, although inaccurate, uh, seems to help someone who's not a healthcare professional understand a very complex part of human physiology and biochemistry. In this video, I'm gonna tell you about one of these instances, and I'm guilty of it myself for decades, but I'm no longer gonna do it now that I realize just how confusing it is to people. Because when you use an analogy or you use vernacular to describe a very complex biochemical process and it's inaccurate, then it winds up being a big fat lie. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician. Let's talk about how the liver filters your blood, not, and is liver healthy and safe to eat as a superfood. So as you can see here from these screenshots that I pull from very prominent websites, this vernacular that the liver is a filter is very, very common. It's basically how any doctor would describe to any patient who's not another doctor what the liver does in the body. But the problem is, is that this is completely and wholly inaccurate. And it, it presents a problem when that person goes home and says, okay, my liver filters my blood. And they immediately think of the oil filter on their car, which you have to change every so many thousand miles because it becomes clogged up with the stuff that it filtered out. Or they think of their air filter on their car or the air filter for their central unit in their home, which they forgot to change. By the way, have you changed that filter? Uh, so if you're one of those people who have forgotten to change the air filter on your central unit in your house for many, many months, I'm guilty of that. When you do change it, it's filthy, right? And so when you apply that analogy to liver, uh, your own liver, which we're probably not going to eat unless we're really starving. But when you apply that to the liver of a cow, a sheep, a goat, a goose, a duck, a chicken, a cod fish, you're like, ooh, why would I eat that? It filters out toxins. That's the part that's not true. Now, the liver does store a couple of very important things that I'm going to tell you about at the end of this video, but toxins ain't one of them, okay? So, what your liver actually does with toxins is a very complicated multi-step process, but it does not filter them out and catch them in the tissue of the liver. It definitely doesn't store them. Most of the toxins that your liver encounters are hydrophilic. They don't associate with water very well. They're very often petroleum-based in nature. And so one of the very first things that your liver does is it tags them. It oxidizes them. It makes them more polar so that other parts of your body are able to act on them and remove them from circulation. Now, in all honesty, very often this oxidation or tagging makes the toxic molecule much less toxic and in some cases non-toxic. And then your body will go on to use that for something else. But when it does tag a particle that's moving through the bloodstream in the liver, so you gotta think if there's toxins in your body, they're moving through the blood supply of your entire body. So they're move, passing through the muscle, passing through your brain, passing through the bone. Anywhere that blood circulates, these toxins are circulating. The liver's, one of its most important jobs is to tag that toxin molecule and to make it more polar. So it's got a positive and a negative end. Because when it does that, then other parts of your body can fish it out if it's still toxic and excrete it in the form of waste. So sometimes once these toxins are marked and tagged and made more polar, uh, they're excreted into the bile, which goes to the gallbladder, which is then excreted into the small intestine and then out through your poop. Sometimes the kidneys are responsible for picking up certain tagged and more polar molecules and grabbing them, pulling them out of circulation, and then you urinate them away, again, as waste. And so your liver does not store toxins, but it also does not filter toxins. And I apologize for everyone I misled with this analogy for the last 20 years. And then when they, when it comes to eating liver, they're like, ooh, I don't want to eat that. It filters stuff. So it, it must there, by definition, catch it like my air filter. And therefore it's all clogged up with this toxic mess. I don't want to eat that. That's not how the liver works. Now, there are a few things that your liver does store, and they are lots of 
healthy vitamins and minerals like this list that you see here. Those are things that the liver actually does store. And so I implore you to stop using the analogy if you're a healthcare provider, a nutritionist, a dietitian, or a guru on YouTube, please stop saying that the liver filters the blood because that's inaccurate, but also very misleading when people turn around and think about actually eating liver because liver is a superfood, multivitamin, multimineral. There's, uh, there's not a more nutrient dense food on the planet but the liver does not store toxins. Definitely, it also does not filter them out and catch them. I actually got this question from a patron uh, while doing a private uh, Patreon Crowdcast live Q&A, and that was the red flag for me. This is one of your people, Dr. Barry, who love what you do and want to support your work, and even they have been misled by this misleading your liver is a filter analogy. And I apologize once again for anybody I've misled. Liver does not store toxin. Liver does not filter out toxins. Liver tags toxins so that they can be removed by your kidneys and your colon in your waste. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.